Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Mitch, I'm an alcoholic and I have your daily reflections for June 23rd, 2021. This one's titled Trusting Others. But does not trust require that we be blind to other people's motives or indeed to our own? No, not at all. This would be folly. Most certainly we should assess the capacity for harm as well as the capability for good in every person that we would trust. Such a private inventory can reveal the degree of confidence we should extend in any given situation. As Bill sees at page 144. I am not a victim of others, but rather a victim of my expectations, expectations, choices, and dishonesty. When I expect others to be what I want them to be and not who they are, when they fail to meet my expectations, I am hurt. When my choices are based on self-centeredness, I find I am lonely and distrustful. I gain confidence in myself, however, when I practice honesty in all my affairs. When I search my motives and am honest and trusting, I am aware of the capacity for harm in situations and can avoid those that are harmful. This one's like right spot on for all the stuff I've been going through and um, it definitely hurts. Today is just one of those days again where you just go back to that, and that anger with yourself and you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, just something I'm not used to, but I know what I am and I know what I'm doing and what I need to do, but it doesn't take the pain away, but you just sit in that pain. But I know um, when it says I'm not the victim of others, but rather a victim of my expectation, expectations, choices, and dishonesty. That's what it is. Because when we do something wrong, we could start to look at the other person and the other situation and blame them. But it still comes down to the whole thing that it was it was you that did it or myself that did it. I'm not a victim. I chose to be a victim. I chose this misery that I'm in and I will not choose it again because honesty is the highest form of love and it's um it's a good feeling knowing that I learned that lesson, but I'm so sick and tired of learning my lessons this way. I'm just really tired of it. I don't know what to do sometimes. I know I just got to be still and just be in the moment. I don't know. Um, sorry, <laughs> this is just what I'm getting from it. Uh, when my choices are based on self-centeredness, I find I am lonely and distrustful. How true. Because I was acting selfishly. Not all the time, but I did. And here I am, lonely but I'm not distrustful, but I was, I was. Um, I know I'm a good person and we just gotta be honest, you know? And, um, you know, that's really what it is. And I'm still learning with that. Another part I wanted to touch on is the um, part where it says, when I search my motives and am honest and trusting, I'm aware of the capacity for harm in situations and can avoid those that are harmful. And, um, you know, that's just a tough thing to do with trust because it goes both ways. When someone trusts you, you have to be aware of the damage you could do to them. And that's where you have to really examine yourself and, um, understand how much pain you can cause someone and the same goes for for the the person getting the trust broken too because uh we choose to open up and make ourselves vulnerable and it is hard to trust someone trust is like the most important thing so of course when you love someone you want to trust them i mean do you want to try to be with someone that you can't trust and it also just it works in so many different ways like we also can't just blame other people for our, our stuff because usually it is more than just one person's fault in something and, and that's where other things are very important like communication and all that. I just know uh, I've just been having a real rough time with this lately and I'm dealing with it. Every day is different and i um, just got to hang in there. If any of you guys are going through anything like that, I would love for you to reach out. Um, that's all I got on that part. And also, um, I wanted to mention something that doesn't have to do with this reflection in general, but for people that have relapsed, um, it's 
stay motivated. There was someone I saw on Facebook today in my recovery group, and they um, and they said they're so mad at themselves because they're back to day one of sobriety. And the support they got was just so cool. It was really, really cool. And it's like, you know what? It's one day at a time. And you have to just put all that behind you because you're sober again. Even if it's one day or 20 years, you're sober again, you're there again. So that's like so important to not beat yourself up over that. You already got to change that perspective and just be like, I'm sober again. Screw the past. I'm sober now, today at this moment, and you have support and you have friends. And, and just seeing that post helped me a lot on like a bad day like this. So to know I won't go back, it's why it's so important for us all to, to help each other. Um, you know, just don't blame yourself and reach out to people. And if you uh, could, please share this with someone, subscribe, help the channel grow. Let's help other people. Um, that's the whole goal of all this. Uh, that's all I got for today. And I wish you guys the best one day at a time. See ya.